Hi everyone, welcome back to Bye Bye Bye. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to go over boots. I am so ready for fall, but it is just so hot. So I thought, what better way to review boots but to go over some fun westerns. Listen, if you don't have a western boot in your closet, you need to go get one. I'm talking now. It's a fashion emergency. Western never dies. It's always there. And a lot of people are styling it nowadays with really cute dressy blazers and fun jeans and you have your like sleek black western boots. So it's very important to get one. We're not here to talk about an average western boot. Today we are here to go over not your average cowgirl boot. These are fun and extra and these boots want to be seen. They want to be on your feet making a statement. Let's get started with the first shoe. The first boot we're going over, I actually bought from Dolce Vita. Dolce Vita is such an incredible brand. I love all of their feminine styles. They have a lot of variety. It's one of my go-to places to buy boots. This is where I found her. This beautiful little lady is named Landon. She costs $220. And yes, she is a pink metallic leather western boot. She has a beautiful feminine toe that's a little bit pointed and a little bit rounded off. She's not here to say howdy. She's here to be cute and fun and extra. This wonderful two and a half inch heel that's slanted and it does have this really beautiful stack detail. The outsole is natural leather, has this really nice Dolce Vita design. It is a true pull on Western boot, so it doesn't have a zipper for you to get in it. You would literally have to use your pull tabs on the side, stick your foot in it and just wiggle all the way up. It has these beautiful western details across both sides. This is such a cool boot. It immediately got my attention. There was really great colors on the site to choose from, but right now I want pink everything, so I had to get these. Let's see her on. Oh man, I am so bummed. I really hate the height of this boot. It does not do anything for me. I'm a short girl, I'm only five feet tall, so this height is not flattering. Definitely would have to wear some kind of like cool jeans with this to make them look cool. This is very, very wide here. It just looks very odd and strange at this height. I think if it was a little bit higher or a little bit lower, I would keep them, but these are going to have to be a bye-bye. I'm really sad that these didn't work out, but like I said, I'm a short girl. I'm only five feet tall. This height of boot does just not work for me. It might work for you if you're taller or might just have thinner or thicker legs. Definitely give her a shot. She's so fun. You know we're going to have to say bye-bye. Next. The next boot I'm going to be talking about is by Steve Madden. Steve Madden is known worldwide. He just paved out the footwear industry in the early 90s. He really is one of the best designers of our time. The company on its own from design through production and even the companies they source and make shoes with, they're all great. I've had the pleasure in working with them many times. And these are serious people that know shoes. They're always fast to react to trends. You don't own Steve Madden shoes. Definitely check out their site. There's something for everybody. But let's get down to business. Check out this babe right here. Her name is Lasso. She was $229. She is this beautiful cream colored leather western boot. Her heel height is about three and three quarters inches high. She has this beautiful feminine toe. Again, she's not here to say howdy. She's so soft and beautiful. And even look at this Western embroidery at the front. It is like a flower and it looks so delicate and feminine, but at the same time, you have these Western peaks that are just always in traditional boots. It has the traditional top line where it just curves like this. I like that this is high, but not too high. I think it's gonna hit right under the knee. This also is a pull-on boot, so you will need to use your pull tabs to pull it on. It is leather, it's creamy, it's beautiful. Like I mentioned, it has the embroidery details even at the toe. I think they did such a good job with this color. It's just flawless and it really is so feminine. They even did such a good job matching the heel to the entire boot. It is just amazing. 
And if you look at this shoe online, it actually comes in these other wonderful colors. It comes in the obvious black, which is like a must have. But this color is just working so nicely on Westerns right now. And everybody's carrying a Western boot in this like soft, natural tone. And I think this is so important to have and it's something that I didn't have and I really wanted to wear, especially with like some short shorts before the summer is over. So let's try her on. Here they are on and oh my gosh, I love them so much. I love how they're just so soft and buttery and they just really look very expensive. I really like that they aren't that high but they're high enough to where they kind of feel a little bit sexy. I love how beautiful the top line is. It's really curved at the top. It gives that like really true western boot vibe. And they're just so beautiful. I have to buy them. Unfortunately for my wallet, I have to buy them. They just look so great on. And like I said, I want to wear them with skirts. I wear them with shorts. I just want to rock them until summer ends because, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with them. And I'm definitely going to buy them. The next style we're going to talk about is by Matisse. I happen to be on the Free People site when I came across this lovely little lady. And oh my goodness, what a beautiful, unexpected surprise. I saw her and I didn't even hesitate. I just put it straight in my cart because who does not want a gleamed out bedazzled Western boot? Like, hello, let this queen shine. She wants to have her moment. She's beautiful. She's here to start a party. She's going to a disco. She is going places. We have to have her. She is bedazzled in iridescent rhinestones. They should have small and big sizes. It has such a beautiful shine and even like cool three dimensional look. She goes to your ankle, so she's a little bit lower, so you can still show some leg. She does have a zipper on the inside of the boot, so you can unzip it, slide your foot in, zip it back up. I love how feminine it is because it does have a blush underlay, like the material that they use underneath the jewels. Um, is really pretty and soft pink, so it kind of gives the iridescent stones more of like a pinkish tone to it. So it's really cool. The heel is about two and a half inches. It's made out of wood. The toe shape, again, feminine, but this one's a little bit squared off. I'm dying to try this on. I paid $198 for these, but how could I not? Like, just look at her. She's beautiful. Let's try these on. Here they are on. They're just as beautiful as they look off the foot. They sparkle so lovely in the light. I know these are going to shine very beautifully outside. They're so comfortable. I really love how this is laying on my leg. It has a beautiful top line. I like that the pull tabs aren't sticking out. They actually don't even bother me. I was a little concerned that this was going to scratch me on the inside, but they are so beautiful and I really, really, really love them. The heel is nice and chunky, so it's very comfortable. I really think that they did a great job. These are definitely a buy. Hold on a second. I came across this little lady. And no, it's actually not the same as this. This style is very, very similar to the Matisse boot. However, I bought this boot at Macy's and it's by Betsy Johnson. It is almost identical. There are very, very minor details that are different, like the toe shape and the heel width. The Matisse is slightly higher than the Betsy Johnson, but just FYI, the Betsy Johnson was selling for $168 at Macy's and the Matisse boot was selling for $198 at Free People. In the terms of quality, Matisse definitely looks a lot nicer in person. The rhinestones look a lot neater. Everything about it looks flawless. Betsy Johnson one, still just as good. It has a little minor flaws here and there, but you know what? Like, you can never go wrong with a Betsy Johnson boot, especially when it has a super fun teal outsole. If it's something you're interested in, check them both out, or if you're committed, just buy one of them. They're both freaking gorgeous. Thank you so much for joining me today. I had such a blast going over these wonderful Western boots. 
I hope that I opened your eyes to a new way of shopping for Westerns. Like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.